All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the six and three, the most slept on, the most shocking team in the NFL this season in the Seattle Seahawks. Huge game in Germany this upcoming week against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but they're currently riding the heater. They've won four straight football games. They're being good, solid teams. The Cardinals twice, you got the Chargers, you got the Giants. It's all being led right here by their third ranked offense led by Geno Smith, the veteran. The vibe in Seattle, the vibe watching these games, the, the culture they have built is very exciting. And this is my first ever Seahawks video, so if you guys are new here, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button, show some love down below if you guys want more Seahawks content. But I mean, Geno Smith this season has a 107.2 rating. He is leading the league with a 73.1 completion percent 2200 yards 15 touchdowns four interceptions now when i was prepping for this video i was because they're playing the buccaneers and there's a big time game for the tampa bay buccaneers especially because you know seattle still across the league is being severely severely underrated and they're not really even being given proper respect they're not giving their their proper due and I'm watching everybody. I'm, you know, people don't believe in Geno Smith. They're clearly not watching these Seattle Seahawks games. It's just, it's kind of crazy. Like they're six and three. Most people had the Seahawks this season. If you were optimistic, I think people had a middle of the pack, right? You're in a pretty good division. I don't think that people were saying they were 100% going to be the worst team in the league. There were people who were definitely saying that, but most people had them middle of the pack, but usually just slightly below league average. Well. Their offense, man, it's just awesome. The defense started the year a little bit shaky. We'll talk about it a little later on. Jordan Brooks leading the, the Seahawks with 90 tackles. Rookie Tariq Woolen with four interceptions. Four interceptions. But Kenneth Walker, the third, I picked him up like, you know, I'll keep it a buck. I picked him up in every single fantasy league heading into this season because he was a, he was a Heisman candidate last year for Michigan State. I don't think people realize that. He's a Heisman candidate. This man, in just eight games so far this season, hasn't started all of them. 111 attempts, 570 yards, seven touchdowns. He's got... His stats are a little bit watered down because of Rashad Penny to start the season. So he's only averaging, only averaging 71.3 yards per game. But this man has given me... He's given the Seahawks, you know, 120 rushing yards, two touchdowns the last like in this win streak so it's super cool to see obviously with the receiving core you got tyler lockett you got dk metcalf one of the cool things i really love is the three tight end personnel and i think it's really fascinating because what it does is it puts your defense it puts the opposing defense in a pickle right if you have three tight ends if i've got fans out there if i've got if i've got all three of my tight ends out there you have to match the personnel and so they're all really good run blockers. They all can catch the ball. It's just multifaceted. It adds a whole other element to your already explosive offense. So this offense, man, obviously the stats back it up. They're the third best offense in the NFL right now. I was really impressed this past weekend against the Cardinals where Jano Smith threw a pick six, kind of just shrugged it off and got back to work. And to me, that shows resilient. That shows trust. That shows he has faith in himself. And I kind of love that everybody right now is overlooking not only the Seattle Seahawks, but specifically Geno Smith in general because he is comeback player of the year. He is most improved. He is a guy who has stuck around in the league for as long as he has. And he is finally, finally getting his props. Finally getting his credit. I remember watching this cat at West Virginia. He's still balling out. Now, this defense, it started the season a little bit shaky, right? It started a little bit shaky. Their defense is top half of the NFL. They have really, really, really impressed me in the last couple of weeks. I, like I said earlier on in the video, I love the young personnel that they have. Guys like Kobe Bryant, you know, he was a big name coming out of the draft, like I should say one of those you know nfl junkie big name saying like you know whoever gets him you got a day one starter right there i think jordan brooks has done a phenomenal job obviously leading the team with 90 tackles 
Wazoo has, what is it, seven sacks? Yep, he's got seven sacks on the season. They're, they're explosive on both sides of the ball, and it's just very cool to see as an NFL fan. So that's it for today. If you guys enjoy it and you want more Seahawks content, I'm going to post more regardless to just be honest here. So hit that like button, hit that sub button. Go ahead, comment down below. Where do you think the Seattle Seahawks will end the season? Give me a record prediction. That's it for today.